Let's review the structure of the heart using this large model. This is the right side, so this is the right oracle. We'll look inside in a minute and see the right atrium. This is the right ventricle. This is the left oracle and left ventricle. The yellow represents the epicardium, the membrane over the surface of the heart, and it's been removed to somewhat in this area to show you the actual muscle of the heart itself, the myocardium. So if we look at the blood flow, blood will enter the right side of the heart from the superior vena cava and the inferior vena cava, which we don't really see in this model. It enters the right atrium. Then blood flows through the tricuspid valve to enter the right ventricle. These represent the papillary muscles that pull on the chordae tendinae, which are part of the tricuspid valve. Blood exits the right ventricle by exiting through the pulmonary trunk. We can see right here, this black surface is where the pulmonary semilunar valve should be. The blood that's leaving the right side of the heart goes through the pulmonary trunk to the lungs. Blood from the lungs re-enters the heart in the pulmonary veins. It's entering the left atrium, passing through the bicuspid valve to the left ventricle. So this is the bicuspid valve. It's also known as left atrioventricular valve and mitral valve. Something we can see in this model very easily is the interventricular septa. This is the aorta, taking blood away from the left ventricle. So as I said, that's the left ventricle, and the blood exits the left ventricle, passing through the aortic semilunar valve. The first two branches off the aorta are the right and left coronary arteries, shown here. The heart feeds itself first. Then the blood goes through the aorta to the rest of the body. 